Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a game which the 6th world chess champion Mikhail Botvinnik played against Sargon. Sargon was a chess playing software for personal computers. Probably you know that Botvinnik himself was involved in chess program development. Uh, he was working as an electrical engineer and computer scientist. In this game he did not play his best moves but well, it tested the program's capabilities. This game was played in 1983 in Hamburg, and now let's see how strong was Sargon. The patriarch of the Soviet school of chess opened up with English opening, and we have e5 response by Sargon. Knight c3 d6, g3 bishop e6, bishop g2 knight c6, d3 knight f6. Well, in here, Queen d7 is considered to be the main move, after which here is how the main theoretical line goes. b5, knight d8. This is a well-known theory, but in our game to d3, Sargon answered with knight f6. f4, bishop e7. Uh, well, capturing on f4 and then playing d5 is of course good. And with f4, white is actually somewhat weakening his position, but Sargon responded with bishop e7, knight f3, after which we see castling by both sides, queen d7, e4, bishop g4, and h3. Botvinnik is sacrificing a pawn, which was accepted by Sargon, in order to organize a kingside attack. In here we see the exchange of light squared bishops on g2, and by sacrificing that pawn, white managed to open up the h file, and now, relying on that fact, will build up his attack. Knight b4, a strange looking move. Knight d4 is a move which just asks itself to be played. Centralizing knights is always a good idea, but instead we see knight b4 after which the knight found itself on a very awkward position. c5, b5, knight c7, rook h1, there it goes, white rook is occupying a nice attacking square, and by a6, Sargon like asked white to harass this knight further, knight e8. A very poor piece play by Sargon of course, and meanwhile Botvinnik is intensifying the pressure, knight g5, queen c6, rook b1. Actually there was no need of protecting this pawn on b6, and at this point already Botvinnik could land a heavy blow. Can you find the winning line for white? Ready? Actually, knight takes h7 is winning on the spot. If knight takes h7, then of course in here going for an immediate queen h5 is not good. Black has this knight f6 move. That's why white can first play knight d5. And if queen d7, only now queen h5 and white is winning. But instead to queen c6, white answered with rook b1. Bishop d8, knight d5, h6, knight f3, knight takes d5. He takes d5. Well, in here, playing c takes d5 and keeping the pawn on f5 protected, and then going for bishop takes h6 is another line which could bring white an easy victory. But instead, in here, we see it takes d5. Queen d7, g4, a5, knight d2, rook a6. Uh, Sargon spotted a weakness in white's camp. And is coming after it, but is completely neglecting the fact that his king side is vulnerable. In here we see the exchange of rooks on b6, and there it goes, f6. Knight takes f6, knight takes f6, check. G takes f6, bishop takes h6. Rook e8, queen f3, bishop d8, queen h3. Yeah, black is in a very difficult situation. Queen a4, bishop d2. A mistake by Botvinnik, and actually in this position rook f1 is the winning move. White rook can both cover the king, and also white is preparing g5 followed by queen f5. But instead we have bishop d2. White is both covering the second rank and at the same time is creating a mating threat. But the downside of this line is that black king can escape. Rook f1, king g8. Well, this is a terrible move, which is just losing on the spot. 
it's not quite clear why not king e7 after which the engine evaluates the position as equal g5 then rook g8 you know yes and then queen d1 looks like that we have an equality on the board white king also looks very vulnerable uh, but instead to rook f1 black answered with a suicidal king g8 move after which Botvinnik quickly finished up his opponent queen d7 king g3 f5 rook h1 f4 check king f3 and at this point we have a resignation there is a direct mating threat if you play a move like f5 then queen h8 check followed by queen h7 now yeah, this is going to be an easy win black king will soon get checkmated that's why finally after king f3 we have a resignation well it's not surprising that in 1983 sargon played this week uh, although on the other hand mikhail botvinnik missed too many opportunities you know yes i understand that botvinnik was testing the computer uh, he was playing in a friendly way but at the same time it's somewhat strange that he didn't bring into life those simple tactical ideas. Uh, in the end, uh, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find the winning line for white. It's white to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. The task is very easy. In the end feel free to check out my early uploads as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.